Hey everyone, welcome back. Good morning, it's now half seven in the morning. I'm tired, but I was too excited to stay in bed. I just wanted to film this video. I'm here again with the Clueless collab with Revolution. This is their Forever Flawless cassette tape. You know what? I really wanted to film with this palette again, like I said, but I had no idea what to do. And then someone lovely commented on my video this morning when I woke up saying, can you please do a 90s grunge makeup? So whoever it was, thank you. You've given me an idea. But not only that, I've also got a really exciting announcement to make. I'll get into that in a bit though. It's super exciting. It's been a long time coming and it's actually happened. It's happening. 90s grunge. Don't know about you, but this is difficult, okay? Where's the depth? I need a black eyeshadow at least. That's some kind of grunge in it. I had some inspo on Pinterest. Now I was looking at Christina Aguilera. I know she's early 2000s. I really loved this look. I know it's got a tinge of blue in and it looks kind of 2000s. I kind of want to switch up the blue and make it more of a silvery gray. Now there's no gray in this palette. I don't know what to do. So um, hopefully I can do some magic potion work. <laughs> With some colours, maybe mix the blue with the orange, hopefully that can make a grey, according to the colour chart, I don't know. I'm just going to do a get ready with me, I've actually got a few makeup bits I want to try as well in this video, um, some new stuff, so yeah, yeah, let's go into it. I'm just putting on my I Heart Revolution Bugs Bunny lip oil just to prep it before we get onto the lips. I'm then going to use my Neutrogena Hydro Boost City Shield Hydrating Lotion SPF. 25, love this stuff. I would repurchase it, but I wanna try something else. This is, there's some skincare bits I wanna try in Revolution. So when this runs out, I wanna try, see what there is on there. I'm gonna start off with my brows dead quick. Now, 90s was all about the thin brows. So I'm actually quite okay in that department because my I've literally got no brows. So I'm gonna use the Pink Honey Glue. This stuff has lasted me such a long time. I am gonna repurchase it because I have come to realization that it is a good brow product. Uh, look at that. It's just literally soap in a jar. Makes it so much easier and convenient instead of actually having to go to the bathroom to do your brows. I've been really liking that Clueless eyeliner I tried out. If you're not seeing my full testing video on the Revolution Clueless, I will link that down below. I tested the majority of the collection out, except for the individual palettes. I don't think I will go onto the individual palettes. I think I might take a back seat on them. Feeling quite content that I've got the stuff I've got now. Now, let's get onto this exciting part, the eyeshadow, but also what I'm about to announce. I'm just gonna go in this shade here, which is literally pronounced, ugh, literally, ugh. That is the shade name, ugh. And I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and just kind of set the eye, I guess, with all that concealer. Right, let's get onto this announcement. So, I finally got a Patreon. It's been a long time coming. A lot of you have been asking, you know, have you got a Patreon? And it has come. Just to give you a bit of context to tell you what a Patreon community is, it's just a way of helping me to fund my channel. There's no obligation to those who already watch my videos and give me support anyway, but <laughs> Sorry, I have my dog in here, she's sneezing. But if you're one of those that really want to support my channel and help me to fund my channel, because at the end of the day, makeup ain't cheap. Not only that, it is a good way to meet people. The reason why it's taken me so long to do this Patreon is because I really want to deep dive in what I want to offer in my tears. And other than that, loads of things have been cropping up in my life. So that's why it's been taking a backseat. But before I explain, I'm going to try and make a grey. <laughs> so I'm going to go into beep beep. Um, and I'm freaking. Another reason why I wanted to do a Patreon is because I really wanted to have a close, more personal community. I want to meet people who have the same interests in me, especially those who are makeup fanatics and they just want to talk about makeup all day long. Got a Telegram chat, so if you join my Patreon, you can join the Telegram chat if you wanted. So yeah, I'm offering free tiers at the minute. So the first tier is three pound, which is called Makeup Obsessed. So in this tier, you'll get Patreon only updates. Basically you'll get updates on what's coming on my channel. You'll get video updates and yeah, you'll go to Patreon and you'll see updates from me. There'll also be a Telegram makeup chat. If you're not sure what Telegram is, it's just basically a messaging service. It's not like WhatsApp because on WhatsApp you, 
uh, you see the person the person's number it is totally completely safe you don't have to join the makeup chat but i do offer it in my membership if you join you'll also be included in my title card at the end of the video just thanking you individually whoever's joined now for the second tier i've put down five pound per month but literally if you really want to join my Patreon and you just want to be free pound, that is still going a long way to help me in my channel. Like if you just watch my videos, that's absolutely fine. But I've had some people that ask me, have you got a Patreon? Because I'd love to support your channel. So this is for those people who would like to do that. But if you just want to watch my videos, that is just big support on its own anyway. But I'm going to try this blue because I'm running my mouth off. So the second tier is called Makeup Addict, and that is five pound per month. So the difference between the Makeup Obsessed and Makeup Addict, you get the chance to vote what video you'd want to see coming up. So if I'm unsure of what video to post, video requests, etc., you can vote for me. So that is one way. Also for the Makeup Obsessed tier, you'll have early access to my videos. So I'll post an early access link on my Patreon page and you can click on that and you can be the first people to see that video before all my other subscribers see it. So yeah, you get early access to my videos. You know what, as I'm doing this makeup, I feel like it's not going the way I want it to go. Shall we try the shimmer? Let's try the shimmer. Right, this is called Mismatch. I feel like the shimmer might help it somehow. We can make this grunge, right? Well, I hope so now, because I've done this. Right, before I move on to the third tier, which is makeup rehab, literally, if you join that, you've got issues because that is just for the makeup rehab people. Maybe we can add some silver to it. Should we add some silver? <gasps> you know what? That could be the one to transform it. Maybe we could add a bit of green. Okay, so here the eyes so far, I've tried my best to make a gray. It's got a blue tinge to it, so it is kind of looking early noughties, but maybe an eyeliner, a thick eyeliner can make it better. Honestly, I'm, I'm really finding it difficult. I really like this. I've been enjoying it a lot. You can create a thin line, a thick line. I think we're gonna do a thick line today. I'm also gonna put a eyeliner in the waterline. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Roll Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. That is not liquid. Why, why is that saying that that's liquid? This is literally not liquid. Maybe I should have put some eyeliner up here too. I've got really watery eyes, so this is helping to smudge it out. <laughs> okay, so my third tier is Makeup Rehab. That's £8 a month, literally. I, I'm going to be so surprised, surprised if anyone actually goes into this, but yeah. So with this one, you get everything above. So this tier will include short vlogs that doesn't make it into YouTube. So sometimes I'm in the middle of a vlog and I'm thinking, actually, I'm not going to post this to YouTube. Now, whenever I think like that, I can post it onto my Patreon. So yeah, that's only for the rehab <laughs> tier though, the third tier. And also I'll give you insights to my creative process just to see, you know, what I do behind the scenes. And also show makeup products that don't make it into a video. I can show on that too. So we've got three tiers. We've got Makeup Obsessed, Makeup Addict, and Makeup Rehab. God help you if you join the rehab. Like I said, there's no obligation to join. You don't have to. This is enough support by watching my videos, commenting and everything, like, and all that. If you're just one of those people that want to give me extra funding to my, and support my channel and just to be part of a community, because I feel like that's why most people join these Patreons, because they feel like they want to join a community, get involved in the chat and stuff. That's the reason why I've joined a Patreon. Just to meet more people, I guess. Okay, I feel like I've been talking forever. I'm so sorry, but that's it, yeah. Um, eyeliner. So we're gonna do it thick and hard. <laughs> that sounded wrong. I've said before, I cannot use that clueless mirror for eyeliner. We need something small and grippy. Now, I feel like I have mentioned everything, but if I haven't, check out the links below. That's the most important part. <laughs> if you don't have a clue what the hell I'm on about, because I'm terrible at explaining things, literally. I was never good at English. <laughs> um, check out the link down below because you'll probably understand it a lot better than I have just explained.
But yeah, this eyeliner I've particularly been enjoying over other Revolution eyeliners because it's just got a good flex to it and I can create thin or thick eyeliners. I was quite limited with the Renaissance. It was quite difficult for me to do thick wings, but for some reason, maybe because it's quite long, I don't know, the nib of it, I can, yeah. This has turned into naughties. I do apologize. Maybe I need to redo this for another video. I don't know. I'm gonna put on a new primer. This is the I Heart Revolution Watermelon Dewy Drops Glow Serum. So I actually was looking the other day, what is the difference between this and the Tasty Watermelon Serum Primer. They both have niacinamide in, but this one has another ingredient that the Tasty Watermelon Serum Primer doesn't have, and that is called, I cannot pronounce, Traniaxamic Acid. Traniaxamic, Traniaxamic Acid? Which, I didn't have a clue what that was. So I did some research, I looked it up. What is that ingredient good for the skin? What, what, why? And it says that traniaxamic acid for the skin can act as a brightening agent to reduce dark spots and improve hyperpigmentation. How cool is that? That, that ingredient is in this little bottle. So that is the main difference between this and the Tasty Watermelon Serum Primer, so. A little science lesson for you. I literally had no idea until I looked it up. So I'm not skin guru, but Google's my best friend when it comes to skin. This is very runny. Um, it's got really positive view reviews already. Like literally check the website and look at the reviews. People are loving it. People are, like saying, oh my plump looks, my skin looks plump. Um, I don't know, I'm, I've only used it once. I haven't noticed some plump bliss, but I've noticed that it does make your skin dewy, like it says in the bottle. But I do prefer this over the Tasty Serum Primer. I don't know why, it just, it kind of does make your skin more healthy, plumpy. I don't know whether that's the dewiness doing that, but it also just makes your foundation just apply on so much nicer um, too. So I do like them both, but if this has got a more of a, another extra ingredient that's good for your skin, I'd probably opt for this one. So I've been wearing this foundation non-stop. This is a Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation in shade Neutral Sands. Literally, this foundation. I love. I think for my lip, I'm just gonna do a classic um, pinky brown, pinky soft brown nude. Maybe use that Thai lip liner with the collection. So that's got a kind of a 90s vibe to it. Don't know if it's necessarily grunge, but now my makeup's on, I am feeling this makeup. I I was this close to starting again. If you persevere though, it kind of goes your way. I've also got this to try. So someone asked me to do a video on this. Is, this is the new Beauty Bay Face Palette. It's their bronze blush glow. I have tried it before my TikTok. I liked it, um, so I'm going to show it to you guys who haven't seen the TikTok. So I've had a new powder, this is the Laura Mercier powder, it's been out a while, it's a cult, it's a beauty powder cult, I've just never tried it and I got this for £13 on TikTok shop. If you've not been or discovered TikTok shop, you're probably alright because you can spend money on that it's ridiculous so I'm gonna take this I'm also gonna take my Shein what's that powder puff called Trinkwell I don't know it's a dupe for that and I'm happy to pay 75p wherever it is on this maybe get the same effect I don't know I've not tried the Trinkwell I can't say it Trink Trinkwell powder puff I don't know but I can do it for 75p hopefully <laughs> This is a good powder though. It, it just leaves such a nice veil under your eye without caking it. Um, it's it's beautiful. Very soft looking. How you want your powder to look. I am doing quite of a matte base. Even though I've got that dewy primer, it doesn't really make sense. But I do want to use this today. Beauty Bay Face Palette Bronze Blush Glow. You get two blushes in here. You get one bronzer and one highlighter. So I got the Fair to Light palette. There is a medium to deep, I believe, that they've got. Yeah, we're going to go with Hazelnut, which is the bronzer. And last time I tried it, it's pigmented. So I always tap a bit on the back of my hand just to give a, a little bit of a start up. But 
look how nice that bronze is. So that is what the colour looks like. I like it because it's not too orange looking. Even though I do quite like a warm bronzer, but this is just a nice, nice tone. I'm just gonna do my nose a bit. I never normally do this on video, but I'm just gonna just gonna do a bit something to my nose. So I'm gonna go with a blush. I'm thinking of going into this peachy one. So that's one that one's called Peach. This is pigmented, so I always put a bit on the back of my hand and it looks like that which is my kind of colour look how nice that is put a bit on my nose too so I am going to spray my face before I put on the highlighter because it just pops more I'm going to use this Conceal and Define Infinite spray literally running out already this will just hopefully melt all the powders together make it look one instead of just layers and layers push it in with my sponge and then we can go into this highlighter called precious this feels like butter literally it's described as a creamy highlighter online on the description i wouldn't say it's creamy but it feels creamy like it's still a powder but it, it is so soft so soft um yeah no words to say. Um, yeah, I really like this highlighter. You don't need a lot, as you can see, because clearly that is a lot. I just want to showcase it to you, but you can go as little as you want. <laughs> just be light-handed because it will get a bit overpowering. But I'm just showing you, you know, how it looks. I really like that. <laughs> So for my lips, I think I'm going to keep it quite neutral. I'm going to use, oh, there's something in my eye. So I'm going to use the tie from the Revolution Clueless Club. Let's just give this a go. I've not tried this on my channel yet. I might go with this. This is the Simpsons Revolution Treehouse of Horror. We're in September now, so we should be thinking of Halloween. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... That's the shade. I think this might look nice with this look. I think this might look nice with the eye colour. Let's hope so. So it comes with a gloss and a lipstick. Let's go with the lipstick. Quite cool tone, which I think it will look good with this eye look. Yeah. Ah, that is nice. I can't remember if I tried this on my channel. That is very creamy. It feels velvety. Mmm so airy and it smells nice too but yeah that's got like a really airy feel to it very lightweight oh my god my tan is my tan on my neck is so bad i'm in the process of removing it but yeah i don't think i'm gonna do a gloss today let's let's um let's embrace the matte lip i feel like glossy's had its throne for too long it reminds me a lot of the colour of uh, Chloe, the Bratz lip gloss that Revolution came out with. Yeah, I really like this shade. Chloe's lip gloss is probably thicker, I would say. The Homer one is, I prefer the formula of Homer. Um, but yeah, they look very similar. I'd say the Chloe's more pink. Yeah, I really like that. I dig that as a lipstick. So we're coming to the end of the video. I am going to put some lashes on. These are Meggy lashes in the style Daffodil. I have been non-stop wearing these. I even wore them to, to a two-day festival. I love them. I love them that much I brought them again. So this is what the package looks like. If you've not tried Meggy lashes, they're so good quality for the price you pay. Um, but yeah, the style da Daffodil, they're half lash. I don't know what to do on my hair, so I just shoved it back and got these thingy bits down. Here's the look. I'm actually surprisingly surprised that I've come out with this look with this bright, colourful palette. Um, I did try my best to do a grey. It didn't turn out so much grey. It came out more of a dark, bluey colour, but I'd say it is quite grungy in my eyes. I don't know if it is to anyone else, but yeah. Good palette. It's not my favourite palette from Revolution, I'm not going to lie. They have done better Forever Flawless palettes. This one here, this is the Friends I'll Be There For You palette. This is their Forever Flawless. 
I absolutely love this. I think I would prefer this for a more of a 90s a grungy look and I feel like the quality in this is a lot better than this one for some reason. I don't know why and it, this formula palette has more putty shadows so that's why I've panned this green. I haven't used that green a lot. It looks like I have but because it's so putty you'll pan it quicker. Uh, it's just a weird formula and there's a lot of those in this palette and that's not necessarily my favourite thing about this palette. I I'm not really a huge fan of putty formulas. I don't know why. I, I, I prefer the foil shimmer and I feel like you'll get that in this one. But there is some foily shimmers in here like you've got this one. That's really pretty. Oh, I should have used that as a highlighter. But yeah there's some shades in here I really do like. I feel like the silver is good. The silver is same, the putty. I feel like the pinks in here are good. The purple's okay. I really like the yellow in here. Um, there's just some shades in here that are a bit meh. But you're gonna get that in all palettes, aren't you? I like this RS VP shade. That looks really cool. That could have been a cool grungy look. I should have done that. Uh, maybe I could come back to this palette. Who wants to part through to this palette? What else have I tried? That lip from the Treehouse of Horror. Get it. It's so nice. I feel like it looks really nice with blue looks. The tone of it is such a nice, cool tone nude. Uh, the Beauty Bay face palette. Get this if you don't have many face palettes. The reason why I got this is because I, I'm going to Liverpool soon for a girly night out with my mum and my sister. I was going to say sister-in-law, technically not, but I'm going to call her my sister-in-law. Um, but yeah, we're going to go for a girly night out in Liverpool and I need to travel so this is going to come in handy with that so I don't have to pack a blush and a bronzer. I can just take this and that's nearly my face done. Um, but yeah, what else have I tried today? That Laura Mercier powder, yeah, it's good. It's exceeded my expectations. I almost forgot. <laughs> Join my Patreon if you'd love to. If you'd love to, you know, give me that extra support on my channel. I have the makeup telegram chat that we can all chat on there. Like I said, there's free tiers that you can join. Starting low is three pound in the makeup obsessed tier. And then if you want to go a bit further, you can. You've got makeup rehab and makeup addict. Everything's down linked below if you want to know how to join. If you want to know how to join the telegram chat, it's all linked down below once you've joined my Patreon. It'll, I've got instructions on there. Um, but yeah, like I said, go through the tier things, read it through properly. If you're a bit confused with what I've just said, because sometimes my explanation is not always the best. <laughs> I've never been great at articulating my words. I've always struggled with that with school, so please go ahead and read. I'm gonna go now. I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me attempted a 90s a grunge makeup i mean we did come with a rainbow palette it was difficult there's no depth in that palette you gotta mix your own potions with it i hope you had a lovely day night with time watching this and i shall see you in the next one bye